All right, guys, Captain Scott here today. When I get clients and fellow anglers on the boat, I get one common question. And that question is, is what is the number one mistake anglers make? And I always give them the same answer is, they do not understand or trust our electronics. That's the difference between people who fish and people who catch. You gotta understand your electronics, you gotta understand what it's telling you, and you gotta trust it. So today I'm gonna take you to a spot, the conditions are right, heavy current. I'm gonna take you up here and I'll show you how I trust my electronics, how I put my electronics to work, and so we can't put a big fish in them. All right, what you're seeing here, this is my Hummingbird Helix 12. This is the new Gen 3. This is the uh, Lake Master card I have in here. I got a couple of waypoints right here. You can see I've got one here and I've got one here. Both these waypoints represent underwater rock piles, as you can see here. And these rock piles hold big fish, particularly when there's current. You can see the rock pile right here on this waypoint. And then I've got another waypoint right here. We're gonna go up to it. And as you can see on the back side of this rock pile, there's fish on this side of the rock pile. And you can see there's some big fish right here on this side of the rock pile. If I came here and I wouldn't mark any fish, then you know, I wouldn't fish here. Trust your electronics, I'm marking fish. So I'm gonna go back up here to this other waypoint. Sorry for the bright sun this morning. You can see the rock pile there. You can see a real nice fish right here. Here's another rock pile. Got a big blue on top of this rock pile. And look at all these big old fish right here below, around that rock pile. I've got two rock piles right here. And look at all these really nice fish here are in and around this rock pile. So what I want to do is we have pretty good current this morning. I want to anchor up about right in here where I can cast over to this rock pile and I can cast over to that rock pile. And then once I get anchored up, I'll take my cursor and I'll tell you how far away I am and I'll walk you through that. But let's get anchored up and uh, let's get some lines out. Anchored up here. This is my boat. These are my two waypoints. The back of my boat is actually blowing the way the wind's going. It's kind of blowing towards these two waypoints. So what I want to do is I want to take my cursor right here. And from this rock pile, I am 45 feet. And from this rock pile, I'm 61 feet. So I'm within casting distance of each one of these spots. Go back and, yeah, marking fish on the bottom. So we're right where we need to be. So we're gonna get some lines out and see if we can't put a fish in the boat. All right, guys, this is where your line counter and reels come in. I use the Akuma Cold Water line counters. And uh, I know how far I need to be. 61 feet from one rock pile, 47 for another. So I basically pretty much know how to throw my line out. When you're using precision fishing, you really need to know how far you're throwing. So I'm gonna put this one out. Uh, I'll throw it out about 40, 50 feet. So I've got this line upstream from that rock pile, uh, close to the rock pile, so any of my bait set will go down and those big cats will lay right behind that rock pile and wait to ambush bait. And we put some bait out for them. So let's put another rod out and let's sit here. Yeah, I got one bite here, I've not even got them all out yet. Watch him right here. I guess I better get my net ready since I'm here by myself today. This acts like it's a big old flathead, but you never know. I got a flat 
head right here. Top of that rock pile. That fish were laying back there. Precision fishing, understanding electronics, understanding what you're seeing makes a big difference. As you can see, I didn't even have these lines out. I didn't even got the other rod out yet. I've already got a fish hooked up here. He's not a monster monster. He's a good fish to start with. He's shaking that hand a little bit. Here he comes. Flathead. Flathead already. Here we go, guys. Flathead in the boat already. Right, I got one boning over right here. Let's see what he does. Leave this big old flathead. He's swimming in towards the boat. This, this is a good fish. Look right here, not even moving. This is a big fish. camera I've been fighting him over two minutes and still ain't got him up here he comes oh yeah nice big blue all right let me get I'll call you back uh, I'm getting hit back here too got another bite right here he's hitting this one back here Let's see what he does here this thing like a big flathead right here Forty-seven feet behind the boat, right here to this corner. I throwed it out, and I've caught six or seven fish this morning. There, I got one on right here. That one taken here. The fish were hanging right around that little structure, watching right here. Watch him. See if he bows it over. Another brood on the raw tips in the water, not even moving. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's on video. Oh, yeah, this is a nice fish here. This is the nicest fish of the day. That last I put in a boat was about 38 pound blue. Yeah. 
This is a flathead. Where do you think you're at? Where are you at? You know where I'm at. Ah, oh, you deep water. Yeah, I'm pounding your hoe. There you go. <laughs> That's all the reason I'm calling you. Oh yeah. Nice flathead right here. He don't even know he's hooked yet. Watch him right here. Oh yeah. I was trying to show the clients this morning. Guys, I'm on videotape and I got Captain Rocky on the phone. This is one of his hoes he fishes. Oh yeah, nice fish here, nice fish. Trying to show the clients how to use their fish finder, you know, the Trestor Electronics. Right. And, uh, oh yeah, look here, Mark, he don't even know, he don't even know he's hooked it. This is a brute. Uh, couple of anonymous right here. Anchored up, use my line counters. And uh, he's at 14 foot now, Captain. He's coming up. Oh, he ain't done yet. This is a nice fish. Oh, he ain't done yet, Captain. Oh, yeah, he ain't, he ain't liking that surface. Yeah, this is a nice. He, I, don't, he still, I don't think he still knows what's going on. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Wait, look right here, boss. Oh, 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 oh what a giant. Giant flathead. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That showed you how quick we always were able to put a fish in the boat when you trust your electronics. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I've got several other videos out. I'll put the links to those down in the description on the settings on the fish finder. Uh, also on some precision use of the fish finder. I'll put those two links in the description. If you've got any questions or anything, you can email me. Here's my email address. Or you can call me. Here's my phone number. If there's any type of videos you'd like to see, leave those comments in the comment section. I'll try to get out here and make them for you. We're going to sit out here for a while, and, and I think the bite's really going to start picking up and see if we can put some more fish in the boat. But tight line, guys.